Hey, I'm Natsue Strainer, and here are some things that I don't want to see in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Let's get into it! After my video about 5 wishes I have for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, it makes sense for me to talk about the things I don't want to see in the Gen 9 games. It's not that they would ruin the game for me completely, but they would leave a bad taste in my mouth for sure. Just like in my last video, I will avoid things like, oh, I don't want a bad story, because of course I don't want a bad story, of course you don't want a bad story, you know, it's pretty subjective though, a good story for me might not be a good story for you, so let's keep that out of the way. But now, without further ado, let's get into it. First of all, Sprigatito. Don't make the last evolution by pedal. Done. Easy. Game better already. With that very serious, serious joke out of the way, let's move on to the next one. And the next thing I don't want to see are traditional gems. I think this wish will surely be coming true, because they have been going away from traditional gems ever since Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. We've had all types of different approaches, like right Pokemon and some special ones along the way like Pikachu and Eevee's secret techniques in Let's Go or BDSP's Pokech calling on random Pokemon to help us. I can't say that I'm a big fan of this last one, since the Pokemon isn't really ours or at least connected to us in a way. In Alola it was an actual company and in Legends Arceus we had a Celestica flute, so I'd rather go for a right Pokemon type of approach and not a, uh, oh look, this Pokemon was just passing by and it doesn't mind helping you. Next up we have the affection mechanic affecting battles. I have to admit it, I was saved by it against Cynthia in BDSP. Multiple times, I used that forbidden jutsu to my advantage and I don't regret it. But I don't want it to be at my disposal again. The influence something like that has on the battle is not positive at all and creates for a random get out of jail free card that takes away from the intensity of a Pokemon battle. You don't learn anything from something like that happening. You can't use it to your advantage because you cannot control it. While usually the more you play a game the better you get at strategy and reading the actions of your opponent in order to counter them, a feature like this simply makes you ignore all of that and just hope for the best. Friendships should still be a thing, of course, there are evolutions that depend on it, but it should not have any effect on the outcome of a Pokemon battle unless we're talking about return and frustration. And lastly, and honestly more importantly, no hand holding, for the most part. Yes, we need to get information somehow and some NPCs will have to give it to us, fine, that is perfectly fine. But if we're going for the next evolution of the Pokemon franchise, the open world Pokemon game, please keep all of the hand holding to a minimum. Open world games need to have freedom of exploration. Do you think people would have loved Breath of the Wild as much as they did and still do if every 10 minutes they had an NPC stopping them and saying, nah, you can't go here, you must go to Himpa's house now? They wouldn't. I don't expect that in Pokemon of course, but at least let us roam around an open world, get destroyed by Pokemon 5 times our current level and learn that maybe we shouldn't be there just yet. There's no better way to teach a lesson than by hitting us hard and sending us right back to the last Pokemon Center we were in. That's how I learned not to enter houses without saving first in the Pokemon game. And those are some things that I really don't want to see in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. But what about you? What things do you really really don't want to see in those games? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, before I go, let me thank my Twitch viewer Nagi5000 for claiming the shoutout for this video. Thank you so much for all of your support. And now, like the video if you like it, dislike if you don't, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content. Also ring the bell so you know the next video is out. You can follow me on social media and Twitch, I stream there Wednesday to Sunday, not Saturday, or join our Discord, all the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.